social media does and it makes us more passionate, it makes us more impassioned. It does that for lots of reasons, in part because of the experience of watching with your friends. You can imagine situations where people becoming more impassioned isn't necessarily a good thing and seeing things without context and seeing without the filters that you've normally had. In the Minnesota case, it you know brought us truth unvarnished. Yeah. And that is something extremely powerful. In the future, that could you know, be a lot of people say thank goodness that she was able to do that because absolutely a lot of people argue this has been going on for years, it's just now we the cameras are allowing us to see it. Right. That is absolutely true. You can have situations like that where it's undoubtedly a positive, and you can imagine situations in the future where it's not clear it's quite as positive. So you think there's gonna be a catalyst for a lot more of this? I think there's gonna be tons more of this, and I think we're gonna have situations where we have Rashomon effects, right? Where you have one person streaming it, doesn't really give you the whole truth, right? You're getting a live stream without context at that moment. That's a particular and difficult thing. You're gonna have moments where people get really inflamed and really impassioned, and you're gonna have other moments where it's the only way to get the actual story to people in real time, which is an incredible thing. How do you contain that? Nick, it's we fascinating. have no idea, but we're going there. Yeah, it's very fascinating. We, we, are, we are there. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. A group of prisoners escaped, but they didn't run for freedom. How they turned from suspects to heroes, coming up next on CBS This Morning.